Hello all, Alex here and welcome to my hobby blog. So um, these are the finished uh, Soviet assault team, the assault units. These were the last 10 that I were doing as far as the commission is concerned. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do is coat these in a, a matte uh, varnish to protect them. And then I'll be packing them away and sending them off to America. So... Uh, Yep, so I thought I'd share um, these final 10 with you. Then I'll do an overall uh, video of all the, the whole 32 units um, ready for shipping. So these uh, these metal figures from Artisan Designs are fantastic. I really have enjoyed doing these one, with these ones. Um, the details on the faces are, are better. Uh, I find the quality better. Um you know, there was a bit of flash, but you're going to get that with anything. So uh, I really did. Uh, I really do rate these these figures. And uh, first time I've done Russian. So I've had to do a little bit of research. And what I've done with the uniforms is um, I've gone with the majority of the of the color, which is a U.S. field drab, uh, which I've found to be the best color or the, the closest match to it. Then I've done like this one here on the left there. That's uh, I've done a kind of a brown uniform, and uh, and this guy here with the with the LMG uh, another brown one there, and I've put three grey ones in, so uh, really really enjoyed doing these, and the uh, the good thing about uh, the the interesting thing about these figures is I used the uh, the airbrush the the new airbrush that I bought recently to help me um, do the blending. Uh, you can't see the blending so well now because um, I've put the snow on the hems of their uh, their tunics so um, or their great coats, uh, and you kind of lost the blending effect a little bit, which is a shame because I was really quite proud of that. Um, you know, if you look on the the tops of their arms, this is all kind of airbrush work and. And it just gives you a more of a, a kind of a 3D effect from the miniature, I find. Um, I've watched some fantastic people uh, do some fantastic painting. I'm not in their league. But what I do like is um, seeing how I can improve upon what I do. And uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased with the effect, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with these uh, these figures. Um they they are nice they really are so that's the uh that's the the 10 us uh sorry the 10 soviet uh, infantry squad that is completed now these guys are wearing the fur hats i don't know what they're called uh, what the real term for these are called some are wearing these type of uh hats there's a couple wearing that but the rest are wearing the gray ones um there was two trains of thought on the hat color most of the hat colours I saw were kind of a grey fur. There is a kind of a khaki fur, which I've done on some of the others. So I wanted to give Gary kind of a a different combination of colours so they're not all the same and they become a little bit more interesting that way. Weapons, I'm over the moon with new wood mixed with Agrax. Earthshade has made the, uh, the weapon stocks really nice. I like that. Um, I'm pleased with the actual... Um, with the colours, I'm pleased with the blending. I'm getting better at it. I'm not a master at it by any means, but uh, I do like those um, and the way they've they've come out. So uh, yeah, chuffed with that. Um, what I'll do now is I'll get the whole 32 uh, figures out, and then we we'll do a quick video review of those. So there's the 32 figures figures uh, all together. Uh, first time I've done a couple of things. I've never done Soviets before. Uh, I've never done snow effect before. So I went and bought some um, green stuff world snow powder. And I've mixed that with PVA. It looks looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. And then I put the dirt in and everything. Uh, bought some snow tufts. Uh, a couple of different types. And then put in um, normal kind of uh, washed out looking tufts. And then I put the the snow on top of that and uh, this base will be replaced um, I didn't have any pill bases uh, and I didn't know that uh, so Gary's going to probably re redo that one but yeah. so that's the um, 
So that's the officers there, uh, the four officers like them. Um, these guys here, they're the prone ones, and then these are the Soviet engineers with support weapons. These four here, and then there's a further four Soviet engineers, assault engineers. They're wearing the kind of green. Uh, here they are. These ones here. There's four of them. And there's another one with there he is. Yeah, so they're wearing the green kind of metal body armor. Um, and then you've got the, uh, the standard infantry wearing their their helmets. I did worry about the green to start, but looking at the pictures and doing the research, that is the colour. And then uh, and then the ones that you've already seen at the back. So. Uh, that's it that's the uh that's the finished job so i may be doing i don't know when i may be doing some uh, winter germans next really enjoyed doing these uh i'm looking forward to doing the next one so uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video